Hey everyone, welcome back to the Toll Tribe channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm gonna to be doing Josiah's nine month update. I say this in every video, but I literally cannot believe that he's nine months old. Actually, at the time I'm filming this, he's closer to being like 10 months old, but I digress. Lots of really exciting things going on with him. Um, I used to come to these videos like with notes and then just as time went on, I just, I stopped doing that and I'm just very unprepared. So hopefully I'm not too rambly, but let's just get into it. So to kick things off, Josiah is 20 and a half pounds this month. Um, last month I said that he was 20 pounds and actually like maybe a week or two after I filmed that video, we brought him to the doctors for his, um, his eight month checkup and he was only 19 and a half pounds on the doctor's scale. So I don't know, depending on whose scale is right, he either gained a pound or he only gained half a pound. Um, so I'm not really sure. I would have expected that he would have gained more than that though, because he is kind of just like eating a lot more now. And I'll get into that a little bit later when we talk about food, but I would expect him to beef up, but I actually, I don't see him getting any bigger and he doesn't feel a lot heavier. So I guess, um, I'm actually starting to see him like elongate. I feel like he's like kind of slimming out. His body just doesn't seem like as chubby as it was. He was 27 inches last month in his last update and he is like just under 28 this month. So again, he seems to grow about an inch a month. That's kind of been the way he's been trending. And I think at the last doctor's appointment, I always like forget the percentiles. I was really good at remembering them like for throughout the first few months and then I kind of like mm, fell off. But um, he went up a percentile in his height last time, which is funny because throughout his entire life so far, he has trended like 50% for his head, 50% for his weight. And then his height was like always at like 20%. Um, he was always uh, kind of short. And so he's starting to catch up lengthwise. And I think that's why he's looking slimmer to me and not like so chubby, although his cheeks are chubby. I think his cheeks might always be chubby, which I hope because it's like really cute. Diapers were officially in a size four. I think I said in the last video that we were in size three, but I felt like he was growing out of them and I had a box of size fours that I hadn't quite put him in yet. We've officially transitioned to the size fours. They are a little bit big on him, um, but the threes were literally like cutting into his legs. Like you'd put them on as loose as you could and he would wake up with like, like, almost like marks on his legs. Like they were just cutting into his skin and I, and I started to freak out about it. So I switched them up to the fours. Like I said, they're really big. We just kind of make them as, as tight as we can. And even as tight as they can, they don't bother his skin the way the threes were bothering him. Um, so that's been working for us. And I think he'll probably be in them for a little while. It looks like there's like plenty of room for him to grow. In the size fours, um, we went from the huggies, um, snugglers to the little movers because he's on the go now. Um, and no problems with them really have been liking those. You might actually hear him in the background. He's upstairs in his room. He's supposed to be taking a nap. He gave me like a 20 minute nap and now he's like up there whining. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that he puts himself back to sleep. That's why I'm not going to get him because he really should take a little bit of a longer nap. He was very, very fussy this morning <laughs> and I think he needs some more sleep. So I'm gonna leave him up there until he like really starts calling me. So for clothing, he's currently in a nine to 12 month size right now. Um, some of his sleeper pajamas feel like they're a little snug. Um, it feels like he might be growing out of those soon. Um, but as far as his separates go, and this has kind of always been his thing, the separates in smaller sizes always fit him a little bit longer. We always have to switch him into the next size up sleepers before we have to switch him into the next size up separates. So um, I think we have a little bit of time with like kind of his sweatpants and his, his jeans and, and his onesies, um, but we might be switching him up to the next size in sleepers pretty soon. So I think I've mentioned in past videos that his his first bottle of the day and his last bottle of the day, we usually do a bigger bottle. So like when he was eating six ounces every like three hours or whatever, his last bottle and his first bottle were always seven. Then we switched him up to seven. Um, and then we gave him an eight and eight in the, the morning and night. And so thought he was ready to move up to eight ounces and we would just stretch out feedings a little bit longer. Um, but Josiah went through this weird thing in the last month where he doesn't always finish his bottles. And so then it kind of just became wasteful to give him an eight ounce bottle. So we moved him back down to seven. Um, and if he sleeps a really long time, I'll give him an eight ounce in the morning, but I've still been giving him seven um, because we actually started feeding him more food. Because of that, we moved him back down to seven ounces. I do give him an eight ounce bottle in the morning when he first wakes up because he sleeps from like seven o'clock at night to like seven in the morning. So 
It's a 12 hour stretch. I feel like he's probably pretty hungry. And then during the day, we do seven ounce bottles every three and a half, four hours because he now eats three meals a day. So we sit down, we do breakfast. Um, he just started doing lunch this past month um, and he does dinner. So we were doing just breakfast at first, then we integrated breakfast and dinner and now we have integrated lunch as well we still do a lot of purees with him to be honest just because during the week it's it's the easiest thing and we're really busy and sometimes i don't know what i'm making for dinner until like five minutes before i make it and and sometimes it's not necessarily a baby friendly meal where i can give him some of that um we have started doing that on occasion um so for example josiah has had scrambled eggs now um the the pediatrician had given us the go when did she say that back in october i think she said that we could give him you know start giving him the allergen foods scrambled eggs not peanut butter but things like peanut butter like a pb2 um that's thin because peanut butter is also a choking thing um and she's you know said start introducing him to those foods but at the time like he didn't have any teeth he still doesn't have any teeth but i was really uncomfortable giving him like foods that felt more solid um not that pb2 is solid but i also just was kind of nervous about doing that first time parent here guys it's taken me a little bit of time but we've integrated eggs this past month we integrated the pb2 um i mix it into his oatmeal sometimes um i've also given him pancakes that i've made for him i think i made that in a vlog i made pancakes and, sh and showed that um and so he's had pancakes and sometimes i drizzle a little bit of pb2 on it um and he he enjoys it it's a it's a hot mess i hate feeding it to him because he He's literally a disaster afterwards um but we do also that's why i like the purees because we feed him the purees and then it just kind of makes things a little bit cleaner and sometimes you just are not in the mood to clean up a huge baby food mess nutrition also had asked last time if we had introduced him to proteins like meats and poultries and stuff and i was like no like he literally has no teeth that makes me so nervous we have started to give him some things he had a little bit of turkey after thanksgiving um what else have we done i do turkey sausage with him sometimes in the morning i cut it up really small and i'll give it to him with a little bit of scrambled egg and he likes that oh i've <laughs> i've given him a little pork um so if you guys don't know i'm half puerto rican josiah is like 75 percent puerto rican um and if there's one thing i love in this world it's spanish food and i love penny which is like our slow cooked like pork shoulder I love it. I found a Puerto Rican restaurant near us that does like a bomb beni and like um, rice and beans. And so we ordered in one night and I was just like, what the heck? Give him some rice, give him some pork, a little bit of plantains. Um, and he loved it. And guys, when I tell you my heart watching him eat Puerto Rican food and like love it, I've never been more proud of my life. Like never. I was so proud. I was so excited that he loved it. So here's the guest of honor. He was ready. He was not going to go back down <laughs> for a nap. Why didn't you want a nap this morning? Whoa. <laughs> you having fun? Do you... <laughs> you ready to mess up mama's house again? I just kind of put it back together after you went to sleep. And now you're going to mess it up again. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, we're gonna talk to them about your sleep. Do you do you want to say anything about your sleep? No. Okay, I'll tell them. We pretty much have the same kind of bedtime routine with him. Bedtime routine starts depending on what needs to be done that night. Like if it's we have to do bath, we start at six. If not, we start at like six thirty. We do pajamas. We do story. We do just a little bit of cuddle time, and then he goes down in his crib with a bottle right you take the bottle in the bed yes he takes the bottle in the bed and um that helps put him to sleep we tried other ways to put him to bed like you know mike doesn't get home until like 5 5 30 sometimes so to put him down like an hourish or so later is like he doesn't feel like he gets enough time with him sometimes so he wants to sit and hold him like on the couch while josiah has his last bottle and and you know then he'll put him to sleep but the problem is josiah starts to fall asleep at the very end of his bottle and then if he's not already in his crib and you have to transport him to his crib he wakes up as soon as you put him in there and then he doesn't want to go to bed. And so this is just the best way to get him to go down. As far as naps go, he's been doing way better. Josiah has really never been a baby about naps. Um, but recently he's been giving me two good naps a day. Today is the exception, I guess, to that rule or possibly the start of something entirely new, um, which happens all the time too. Every time you think you figure out your baby, they like totally change on you like overnight. So, um, but he has been giving me two really good naps. 
So he takes his first nap about two hours after he wakes up in the morning. Um, he wakes up, we do bottle, we hang out, we play. And then usually right around the time I'm logging in for work, 8.30, 9 o'clock, he's kind of ready to go down and take a nap. So he'll take his first nap and he's been giving me about an hour for his first nap, which is, which is golden. And then he hangs out and plays for a little bit and he probably goes down for his second nap around 12 o'clock. And if I'm lucky, he'll sleep until two. And then once he wakes up at two, he is up for like the rest of the day. I have to keep pausing filming because Josiah is literally in a rare form today. He's in such a mood and I honestly have no idea why. He just like woke up like this today. He's not usually like this, um, but he's just like very, very like whiny. Excuse me. So anyway, um, development. A lot of really exciting things have been going on developmentally with Josiah. As you can see, he uh, talks quite a bit now. Um, he's not saying anything much, um, but he is always saying something. We just don't know what. He did start saying dada, which is very exciting. I mean, obviously I don't think he knows at all what that means. We never called Mike dada for him to know that Mike is dada. Um, he just says it all the time and Mike just goes, yes, bud, like, what do you need? Like, it's it's kind of adorable. But um, we're working on mama, we're not there yet. But when he says mama, I know it'll be because he knows mama. Double standard there, but that's how I'm playing it. I feel like a lot of babies start with the duh sound. It's just like easiest for them. Um, so I'm working on dog. It's always been the joke that like his first word is gonna be dog because he loves the dog so much. So. Jury's still out on what his like official first word is gonna be. But I think we're probably coming upon that pretty soon because he seems to want to talk very badly and he's always yelling about something. Like literally, if you follow me on Instagram, you see videos where Josiah is like literally like yelling at us. <laughs> so if you caught the previous updates, Josiah started crawling right before he turned seven months old. Like literally two days before he was seven months old, he crawled for the first time. Um, and he's just gotten better and better and better at it. Um, he learned how to stand and um, by pulling himself up onto things. And then he started kind of cruising the furniture. Um, recently, he has started to pull himself up on things and then let go of things and just kind of stand there. And it took him a couple weeks to like really work on his balance. But we noticed in like the last week or two, like he's gotten really, really good at just standing and balancing on his own. And then literally just a couple days ago, he took his very, very first step and I caught it on camera. Um, it's in the last vlog that I posted. I'll link it up top for you guys. You can check that out. He took his very first step. And then the next day we were working with him on the floor, trying to get him to walk back and forth between between Mike and myself and he took four whole steps. We didn't get that on camera, but he took four whole steps and he's never done it again since. <laughs> and um, now when we try to get him to walk to things, he can, I know that he can, and I, I, and I think that he knows he can, but he knows that he can get there 10 times faster if he crawls. So he just drops down to his knees and gets going. He is like a professional crawler at this point. He crawls so fast that it sounds like an adult running. Like I, I hear him coming behind me when I go into the kitchen and I'm like, who is chasing me and it's it's him definitely recognizes tones now i think he understands when he's doing something that he, you don't want him to do by the tone of your voice and how you like call his name whether you're like josiah or like josiah like he understands um because when he's doing something he don't want him to do and you call his name he literally looks back at you and gives you like the sneakiest little smirky smile and then continues to do exactly what you don't want him to do. And sometimes I, I can't help but to just laugh because I'm like, you, you are testing the boundaries so hard right now, um, but that's what he's gonna do. And he's probably gonna continue to do that kind of thing for the next several years. Like he's on his way into toddlerhood and that's gonna be a whole other story. He's literally screaming at me for attention right now, but he doesn't wanna sit here, like look at him. He's like, I'm dying, pay me attention. Um, he's me. It's funny, everybody always says that he looks like Mike. I don't personally think that he looks like Mike, but everybody thinks that he looks like Mike. And I made the joke that like, even when you don't carry a child for nine months, they look like their father. Um, but he definitely has my dramatic personality for sure. For sure. And he likes watching himself do that. So he's just gonna do that. <laughs> this is officially the first monthly update where there is no real adoption update. His adoption was finalized last month. Um, and we had that online court hearing. If you didn't catch that vlog, I'll link it up top for you. 
Josiah is officially a toll. Um, so no more social worker post placement visits or any of that. So if you guys have been following along from the beginning, you know that Josiah's adoption is an open adoption. We have a relationship with his biological family. Um, they feel like at this point just an extension of our own family um which we absolutely love we love that for our family we love that for him and his future growing up and, and it's our responsibility as adoptive parents to keep that line of communication open so that when he is old enough and he has questions and he wants to speak to his biological family and learn more about them and where he comes from he can absolutely do that um and so I love that and I love the relationship that we have spent the last nine months kind of cultivating and, and, and growing and um, they're just such special people to us. And I, like literally I can't say enough things about like how much we love them and how amazing they are. But yeah, still working on those connections and growing those even further and, and sharing information about Josiah and his and his growth and development with them. So that's been a joy and, and this past month not having to think about the finalization has also been really great. Like it's just officially official and we're a family and there are no questions about it anymore. Now I guess it's time for my motherhood update. It's kind of crazy to think that like I've been somebody's mother for nine months. How many stars would you give me as a mom, dude? Five stars? Four, four and a half maybe? All right, it's probably just because I don't let you have the remotes all the time. Funny, I always take December as time to like really reflect on the, the last year and kind of mentally prepare myself for the new year. Think about, you know, maybe where I fell short, where I could have did better, where I want to be, how to get there, all of those things. I do that pretty much every year as I approach the new year um, so that I can kind of start on a clean slate, right? And kind of work towards the goals that I want to set for myself. So I spent some time thinking about like where I was last year versus where I am right now. And last year at this time, we were coming off of our disrupted placement with the twins. It was rough. We were in a really difficult spot. We were in a really emotional state. Um, we didn't know what we were gonna do next. And then we actually got the call about Josiah's um, birth mother uh, selecting us on New Year's Eve. We were actually getting ready to have some friends over and we got the call from the agency and we were like, we didn't know what to do. We like literally didn't know what to do. We were still so broken. We like, we weren't sure we were even ready to move forward at that point. Obviously we did and it was the best decision that we've ever made hands down. Just so crazy to me to think about where we were last year and where we are now and our life kind of did like this complete 180 in the best way possible. So if you're watching this and you're in a really tough spot right now in your life, I hope you kind of take that with you. You and think about the fact that your life could look totally different a year from now like things won't always be so difficult they won't always be so hard um so that's that's how i feel like last year we were devastated and broken and this year like our hearts are so full and we feel so whole it's insane for as i reflected on this last year and especially this last nine months as a mom i'm just proud of myself and i feel I feel kind of badass. Like, sorry, mom, if you're watching this. I know she doesn't like when I curse, but I do. I feel kind of badass and, and powerful because you're like, you're taking care of this, this little person <laughs> and you're keeping them alive every day and you're nourishing them and you're helping them grow and you're helping them develop and you're teaching them. And you're just pouring so much of yourself and the love that you have to give into this person and to watch them grow and change is just it's so rewarding and you just look at them and you're like I did that I did that so overall I would say right now I'm just feeling really proud of where I stand as a mom and in my motherhood journey um you know things are starting to pick up here I have a very mobile child I have a very active child um I have no doubts that he's going to be probably up and walking legitimately walking probably running <laughs> very very soon and my hands are going to be filled we're three months away from him turning one and like being a toddler which I know is a whole new world in itself so we'll see where that journey leads leads us but right now I'm just feeling really really good and just really really grateful I hope you guys enjoyed all of our updates if you celebrate Christmas Merry Christmas this is probably the last time I'll speak to you um, before the holiday um, I hope you guys have just been having an awesome holiday season in general and just making the most of it I know this year is a little different it's a little weird um, but yeah I hope you've just been taking time to you know enjoy it and, and reflect like i said on on the last year and and have hope for the year ahead as always if you like this video you can leave it a thumbs up you can leave me any questions comments you have down below don't forget to subscribe for more videos from us in the future and i'll see you guys in the next one bye